Do you ever wonder if you have adequate coverage of sunscreen on your face to optimize protecting your skin from the sun? I do, and today I'm gonna to be talking about this portable compact mirror with UV camera. This is not a sponsored video, please keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Amy. I'm a registered nurse. I have melasma, which is why I am concerned about making sure I have enough sunscreen on my face throughout the day to help minimize the number one trigger for melasma, UVA and UVB exposure. Now, when it comes to melasma, even a small amount of unprotected UV radiation and visible light from the sun can darken melasma patches regardless of your current melasma treatment and overall just make it more difficult to manage. Now, of course, regardless of whether you have melasma or not, daily application of sunscreen is important to protect your skin from harmful UV rays that can affect the overall health and integrity of skin. So let's get into this handy device that I found on Amazon. I will put the link in the description box below. And if this type of content interests you, please subscribe to my channel. I post videos dedicated to topics related to melasma and I share ways I manage this stubborn chronic skin condition. This compact is by a company called Fenchlin. It comes packaged in this nice box. It comes with a USB cord, a cleaning cloth, and a small, incredibly tiny printed instructions pamphlet. Now this compact is about three and a half inches in diameter. There is a regular mirror on the top. The UV mirror is on the bottom. There is a button here that turns on this light that goes, that is around the lower mirror. You can tap it to adjust the brightness and that turns it off. Now to turn on the UV camera mirror, you just hold that same button down for a moment and it turns on and this rectangular area here is where you view your image. The camera is here, this light that you see is part of the camera and the amount of battery charge shows here in the bottom corner and this holds a charge for a good amount of time. You just hold down that same button and it turns off. Now I was having some difficulty when trying to shoot video to show you what I see when I look through this UV camera mirror, but with the help of my husband <laughs> shooting over my shoulder, we were able to get some shots that I am going to show and I'm gonna talk about and I plan on putting them on that side of the screen when I edit this video. Now the skin looks different looking through the UV camera compared to what you normally see with visible light. And when no sunscreen is on, the UV camera allows you to see what lies below the surface of the skin. Now this often takes people by surprise and they don't necessarily like what they see, myself included. Um, here I am with clean face. Now when high SPF sunscreen is on the skin, the skin appears dark because it blocks the UV light. Here I show swiping mineral sunscreen on the side of my face and you can immediately see that dark. And this shot shows applying one finger length of mineral sunscreen on the uh, right side of my face. Now it is so important to apply an adequate amount of sunscreen for the stated SPF. A general guide is to use uh, two finger lengths of sunscreen or a quarter teaspoon of sunscreen for your whole face. Now here you can see the difference with and without. Now the product information guide says that chemical sunscreen appears darker than mineral sunscreen through this UV camera, but you could see that the mineral sunscreen shows up pretty dark. Now my skin has reacted in the past to chemical sunscreen, so I stick to mineral sunscreen, which tends to be you know, less likely to cause irritation, another trigger for melasma that you definitely wanna try to minimize. But I did have a sample of a chemical sunscreen, and for comparison, here I am showing a swatch of both sunscreens on my arm. The one on the right is the chemical sunscreen and looking at it, obviously you can see comparing side to side, the chemical sunscreen definitely does appear darker. So I have to say, when I first got this mirror, I, my initial reaction was to return it. But after using it for a few days and getting the hang of seeing what my skin looks like without sunscreen and what it looks like with sunscreen, I really like this gadget. Now, when it comes to my first application of sunscreen in the morning, I'm confident about my sunscreen application, but now that I have this, sometimes I check. But what I really like about this mirror is checking throughout the day. Now, I'm still reapplying sunscreen every couple of hours, but 
This helps with making sure I don't miss any areas. Now in this shot, I purposely missed an area to show how it looks. It's obvious there on my left side. And also here I wanted to show what my face looks like immediately after applying sunscreen on my entire face. Now two hours later, I wanted to try to capture and show you what it looks like two hours later. Now when I looked through the UV camera mirror, I could see that it was faded. I wasn't able to capture that as clearly in this shot. Now sometimes sunscreen needs to be uh, reapplied to some areas even more frequently than every two hours. When it comes to that upper lip area, it's such a challenge to keep sunscreen on. It comes off so easily with things like, you know, blowing my nose, which is common right now during allergy season, and not to mention the sunscreen that comes off when masks related to COVID-19 are worn, which I continue to wear in um, places like, you know, medical offices and hospitals. So. And this mirror comes in handy to check uh, sunscreen coverage for things like that. Again, this is a fun, you know, handy gadget, but really, is it necessary? Honestly, I'm gonna say no, but I have been looking for something like this, believe it or not. And if this can help to give you uh, some assurance about your sunscreen or help you to be more diligent about applying sunscreen to better manage your melasma, it may be worth the purchase. And I checked uh, before shooting this video today, Amazon has a coupon currently that you can clip and save 10% off at checkout. So check that out uh, if you're interested. And I hope you found this video informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up. It helps to get my videos out to more people and to grow my channel. Remember, sunscreen is so important. It's the best it's the best thing you can be doing for your melasma and the best sunscreen for you is a broad spectrum high SPF mineral or chemical sunscreen that you like that works well for your skin type and your skin tone and most importantly, the one you feel good about applying and reapplying daily. Thank you as always to my current subscribers, wishing everyone good health and thank you for taking the time to invest in your face. Bye.